Hey there, South Jersey. I'm sitting there this afternoon thinking, what is wrong with this scene? It's like a scene out of the Twilight Zone or a broken record, a record that you don't like and it just goes over and over and over again. Here we are again talking about winter weather with just four days left until spring. Let's take a look at our temperatures around the region. In general, 15 to 17 degrees different than what we saw yesterday. Officially 46 in Atlantic City, 47 Ocean City, as well as the Courthouse, Vineland 44, Millville 42, 45 out in Hamilton. This time yesterday, we were seeing highs in the low 60s. What a difference just 24 hours makes. Officially 46 over 31, our high and low. We should be at 52 over 33, so this number creeping up as time goes on. A record set in 1990, 78 degrees. And to note, our record yesterday, 80 degrees, was also set in 1990. So let's everybody get in a time machine, Stewie Griffin's time machine, and just go back in time to 1990, and we wouldn't have to deal with this cold, cold weather. Take a look outside our CRDA weather cam. This is our weather window. I know that person. How you doing? It's dark outside, and we will see continued darkness until sunrise in the morning. But seriously, we do have some snow showers developing and it's been snowing for a few hours. It's about 1030 right now. Snow started just after the dinner hour. Not much accumulating or anything really on the roadways due to the warmer temperatures we've seen over the past few days. So that ground is warm. So let's break down our weather headlines. Yet another nuisance event. We're not talking about a major event here, folks. It's another nuisance event. It's just flick it away and it'll be gone. One of those kind of things. Light snow accumulations and it will be very cold. Very, very cold going into the overnight hours, dipping down into the 20s. Temperatures do recoup through the week, though. Again, spring comes in on Thursday, about 54 degrees, and I think we do progressively get warmer. We're not talking about highs in the 30s anymore. Finally, in the 40s and 50s, where we should be. The countdown to spring begins. Four days. Awesome. I had to go all over the internet to find that smiley face. I thought that was pretty cool to put in there. But everybody, I'm sure, will help me welcome in spring when it comes in on Thursday. Let's take a look at our Doppler radar. This is our mid-Atlantic radar right now as of 1030. I just talked to Bruce out in Hamilton, and he's starting to see some heavier snow now work through western Atlantic County. A lot of precipitation has actually fallen but not a lot sticking, mainly on cars and grassy surfaces, and that will be the general rule going through the evening. I don't think we will start accumulating snow until after midnight. All of South Jersey now under a winter storm warning. Waking up this morning, it was a winter weather advisory, and the National Weather Service upgraded it later this afternoon to encompass all of South Jersey, not just Cape May County. There's the cutoff line, Central Burlington County. How would you like to live right on the edge of that line, not really knowing if you're under an advisory or a warning? I should call up those people and find out how they feel. Let's break down our storm for you. Overnight tonight to around lunch hour tomorrow is when the precipitation is going to fall. Again, I like to emphasize this is not a coastal storm. It's not a nor'easter. It's not a deep low pressure system. So we're not dealing with the coastal implications that would come with such a storm. All snow for all of us, it seemed. I thought we'd start out with some rain, but that was not the chance and not the case. We could end the event with some light rain showers or a mixed bag of precipitation of sorts. The best chance of the heavier snowfall, the heavier accumulations, remains southeast of Philadelphia through Cape May County. So that has not changed at all. Take a look at our accumulation totals. Let's say northern Atlantic County, one to three inches straight across the Toms River, three to five through central Cumberland, southern Atlantic County, over to the islands of Atlantic City, Ventnor, Margate, Longport, and then four to seven inches through Cape May County, down Route 47. And I think the seven, that's an outlier given well, the change to snow overnight, that happened, check. But a lot will not stick to the ground because of the warmer temperatures that were observed the past couple of days. So it's not piling up on the roadways just yet. 
the road's a lot wetter than white. And I think, again, that won't come until after the midnight hour as those temperatures really plunge into the 20s. And then finally, yeah, we will see the stickage, but not until then. Tonight, 25 to 27, look at all the pre-snow behind this. Snow showers persist overnight, and we do have a very narrow window for accumulations between midnight and 7 a.m. As soon as that sun comes up, well, it's going to melt anything that tries to fall. So I think all of our accumulations happen before that time period. Your St. Paddy's Day, the luck of the Irish, definitely not on our side. 34 to 35 degrees. Oh, that's really cold out there. The snow tapers off by early afternoon, mostly cloudy skies to end the day. And we will have a pretty hefty northeast breeze at 15 to 20 miles an hour. So hang on to your hats. Tomorrow morning, wake up with Adam Rutt. And he will be updating you as the storm chugs on. And you can stay connected with myself. It's Nor'easter Nick on Facebook and Pittman 40 on Twitter. I'm just learning about the tweeting world, so maybe you guys can even teach me a thing or two. You can email me at npittman at nbc40.net. Same holds true for Dan Skeldon and Adam Rutt. Your South Jersey seven-day forecast. Well, there it is. Okay, I was covering up the 33 on Monday. Yeah, let's stay that way. Let's cover that up. Tuesday, 44. Wednesday, 48 degrees. Thursday, first day of spring, 54. 52 for Friday, 58 for Saturday. And, well, we won't talk about the 47. We want to go the other way, up the mountain, not down the mountain just yet. And we'll talk about that come fall. But lots of weather going on over the next 24 hours. Stay connected on NBC40.net and on Facebook. I will continue to update you as conditions warrant. Have a great night, and thanks for logging on.